Felicity Charlesworth Johnson. Okay. Um, this will be coming up to my 18th year. Um, I lived in Marin County in California. And before that, in England, in London. Okay. Um, what, were your, what were your parents like? Uh, I never knew my father. He was a colonel in the American Air Force. Um, but apparently he was um, a lot of fun to know. And my mother was the headmistress of a school and very strict. So I was a little scared of her. Okay. Um, do you have any siblings? If so, how many? Mm -hmm. Uh, about six years ago, I discovered I had one half, a sister and a brother by my father who'd married before. So we met in Martha's Vineyard for the very first time, and it was wonderful. Did you, how did you meet them? Be, because an, um, my aunt's attorney, <laughs> had, um, who had died, had, nobody had closed her account, and there was money left over in the interest. And when they were calling around to find all the children, um, they found me and said, did you know that you had a half-sister and a half-brother? And so that's how it sort of happened. And then I flew over to meet them. And I discovered that we were very alike, um, although we had never met. Uh, you, you grew up in England when you were a child, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what was it like growing up in England? It was cold in the winter, lots of snow, so you could sledge, sled everywhere and skate, and it was wonderful except you got really cold. And then in the summer, it was very pleasant, and we would lie in the grass and eat berries and go for long walks. And I lived in the country when I was little, so we did a lot of sailing and climbing. Um, and then when I went to college, I lived in London. Okay. Um, what high school did you go to? <laughs> Slightly different system in England. Yeah. So I went to um, a school behind my house, which is called a gram well, it's called a grammar school then, for students aged 14 to 18. And um, uh, because it was behind my house, it was really kind of easy for me to just walk over the hedge to school, that sort of thing. Um, it was a big school, a lot of kids. Um, were you popular in your high school? Mm, I don't think so. I didn't like school very much. Yeah. Um, I had my friends, but... Um, we were, I, I suppose, what, what you'd call the nerd group. It was more sort of we were interested in, in, in intellectual things, not so much the sort of jock group. Okay. Um, what was popular when you were a kid? Elvis Presley. Uh, <laughs> um, right there, yeah. Not that I'm a particular fan. I just have to have that. But um, same as today, except we didn't, of course, have so much uh, like internet and iPods and things like that. But we would play records. And we love dances and ice cream and all the same things that kids do today. Okay. Um, what, what were your brothers and sisters' names? Um, my sister uh, is Penelope, and my brother is Peter. <laughs> okay. But what, I have to tell you something. What I discovered meeting them was that, in fact, um, on my father's side of the family, they came, what, what the Americans that came over in the first wave in the original pilgrims. So um, half of me is sort of daughter of the American Revolution or whatever it's called and could have been fighting against the British. And so that's rather odd because the English side of me goes back to Vikings. So I'm English and American. It's very, very strange. Okay. Um, were you a troublemaker when you were a kid? Yes, I was. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. What was the worst trouble you ever got into? Um, secrets out of school. Well, I um, used to fight the boys because <laughs> I didn't like being bullied. So I used to get in fights. and um, But it was kind of fun too. And uh, one time I ran away from home, but it was so cold that I only was away from home for about 10 minutes and I went back in again. <laughs> Uh, that's a difficult question. Um, I don't know. I like rock and roll. Okay. Um. Well, that was when I was a kid. That's what you're asking, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, what were the most popular songs when you were growing up? Um, or artists? 
Yeah. In England, it was a little different. You probably won't have heard of them. There was um, uh, um, Tommy Steele. Um, can't think of names. But everybody liked Elvis Presley. He sort of came across from America. Um, so all of his films were popular in America, in England and his songs. But the groups that were in England then, I don't think anybody would have heard of when I was growing up. Except, of course, when I went to college and the Beatles appeared and the Rolling Stones. Um, what was Hawaii like 20 years ago? Or, or 18 or years ago, right. yeah. Um, well, I moved to Waimea and there were few um, traffic lights then. There's a lot more now. Actually, the same as in Kona. Um, less cars. I think everybody would say that. And there weren't as many buildings going up. It was a lot quieter. So um, what has changed the most? In Hawaii, the roads, I think. The roads. OK. Um, when did you get married? Um, <laughs> in um, June 15th. Um, 1990 to my husband, but I was married before in Kathmandu, which is in Nepal, in 19, God says, how old I am, 68. And where? Kathmandu, in Nepal. Oh, I didn't hear that, sorry. No, it's in the Himalayas. <laughs> yeah. um, what was your first car? Oh, um, what was it? Uh, it was a small Ford. It was, I don't know the make, but it was a small car. Not really. No. Okay. <laughs> if you could travel back in time, what memory would you go back to? Oh, of my own time? Uh -huh. um, probably when I was a teenager. And a particular memory would be um, a, an incredibly exciting um, holiday that um, I had with my family, uh, mountain climbing in Wales. No, I was born after World War II. My, that's how my mother met my father, because the American soldiers went over to England, and she met this dashing young colonel from the American Air Force. Oh, okay. That's how because, that happened. Um, we, we kept the same questions from our last person, so they're basically the same. Um, oh, Mr. Southern? Huh? Mr. Southern? No, it was this um, the Jacob's auntie. Oh. Yeah. But she Grandparents? Did you ever meet your grandparents? I lived with my grandmother, who um, was who. Let's see, her father owned an antique shop in North England, and a famous person in England from the Crimean War, which is a long time ago, was Florence Nightingale, who was a famous nurse and did a lot for women's emancipation. Actually, anyway, he had her one of her um, spinning wheels in his store, and so. That's a memory that I have of my grandmother showing me the spinning wheel that belonged to this very famous lady. Okay. Um, were, were they nice? Did you like growing up? With my grandmother? Oh, yeah. I like my grandmother very much. She, she understood me so that when I said I really like Billie Halliday, black singer in those days, it was kind of considered a little strange jazz singer. She got me uh, music about her, and when I told her, I, I really like Chinese art. She got, and it doesn't sound much now, but back then in England, it was a little, little unusual, and she found a book and gave it to me. And I, I never forget that, because she sort of understood what I liked. Okay. Um, what was your favorite holiday experience? Or what, yeah. Holiday experience, apart from the mountain climbing? As a kid? We're, we're, all the f we're a very adventurous family. We used to go sailing and boating and climbing mountains and hiking and riding horses, that sort of thing. So all of those memories mixed in together were, were my favorite holidays as a kid. Okay. Um. One, one, like um, camping out in the middle of a river on a little island in Cambridge. And um, we had punts. You know what they are? The boats with a pole. And I remember, a funny memory is, I remember my uncle filming us, because they had cameras in those days, and he was saying, go on, go on, and suddenly I, the punt got caught in the mud, and I was hanging on to it, and the boat kept going, and I was hanging on to the punt, and I fell in the water, and everybody around me jumped out of their punts too, and we all kind of had a sort of splashing, fighting, fun time in the water. It, was, it doesn't sound funny, but when you're there, it's really fun. Um, what is your favorite um, holiday, holiday, like Christmas or... 
July, 4th of July. Um, I guess Christmas. <laughs> Christmas? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your best Christmas experience? Um, as a small child, <clears throat> my cousin and I were spoiled, and one Christmas we came down thinking that Santa Claus, because we believed in him, of course, there is Santa Claus, what am I saying? <laughs> and um, <coughs> we crept downstairs, and there were an enormous part of presents under the tree. It was amazing. I never can remember anything like that, because after that, it always seems as you grow older, there were less and less. And it was just wonderful. And then with my own children, trying to do what I could for them, the same sort of idea, and then seeing their faces and how they threw things around and said, yay, got all their presents. So you didn't grow up with any siblings? No. Okay, that's good. What was your favorite thing to do when you were a kid? <laughs> what was in your spare time? There's a lot of things. Uh, I used to like riding horses, reading, um, going on adventures with my friends, um, exploring. Those sort of things. Um, oh, and acting. I, I even then I belonged to a mime group that my family had, because my part of my family are actors, and so we used to do shows, and I used to like doing that. Um, what was the most memorable thing in high school? Memorable thing in high school. Hmm. Probably boys. Um, <laughs> well, let's see. That's not quite true. Um. um I don't know really. It was, it was very strict in those days. You had to sit in rows and nobody could talk out of turn. So it was kind of boring. I think that's why I hated high school so much. So I really don't have, the only memories I have is the cross country that we used to do. And after cross country, we'd all go to my grandma's house and sit around and have cookies and lemonade. And that's really my happiest memory. <laughs> Yeah, when I was little, um, nothing major. What was your favorite birthday party? Birthday. Oh, my favorite birthday was, I had two when I turned 17 and when I was 21. Um, both were inc really um, good birthday moments. What made them special? Um, being 17, um, I felt elegant and I had a lovely dress and um, had... My, all my friends were there, and I wasn't at home. It was in London, and it was a great party. And then when I was 21, that's a special birthday for everybody. And I was at college, and we had a huge party at college. Um, and I was very happy at college. I love college. I love the freedom and just everything about it. And away from home, I do. <laughs> I think it's the best experience anybody can ever have. Um, just being 21 is a, is a great feeling. So it was, a, it was just happiness if, in terms of memory. Also, I had a great boyfriend at the time, and so that was for nice, too. Um, what made kids popular? In those days? Yeah. I think the same today. Um, sports. Everybody likes kids who play sports. Um, if, uh, that you don't tell tales about other kids. You know, it's a strict rule. Um, I think that's really more or less what it is. I can't think of anything specific. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't very interesting. <laughs>